Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, just click on it, only takes a second, and don't forget to press the like button and the little alarm button too. Um, today's video has been inspired by the previous video. Um, if you've not seen the channel before, a few years ago I did a diesel conversion on my Volkswagen camper. That's not actually relevant with it being a Volkswagen, so this video is actually going to be useful for anything with a diesel engine in it that you need a glow plug timer for. So at the moment the van, everything's fine, it all works, but the heater plugs, uh, I've got a solenoid in the back, which is just basically a big relay. Uh, you press a button on the dash, brings the solenoid in, turns on the glow plugs. Super easy. But the thing is that, that kind of irritates me a bit because when you do a conversion I like it to be a full conversion. So I want it so that when I turn on the ignition, the heater plugs time on for 10-15 seconds, whatever I feel like, goes out, then you start the engine. The, 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 so the, the devil's in the detail of the good conversion because you don't actually want anybody to know that it's been converted. You just, it's one of those things, you know what I mean? I, obviously it's got to have heater plugs, there's nothing wrong with putting a button on the dash. But it's just a little bit... Ah, it bugs me, it's not right, it shouldn't be like that. So this video is going to be me showing you how to make a universal 12 volt or 24 volt... Uh, yeah, I think you, you could use a 12 volt thing. Um, glow plug timer relay. It could be on anything doesn't make any difference. So, there's going to be a lot of my hands on the bench next to me in this video. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have everything you're going to need to make this circuit. Um, it looks complicated, it's really not. This little fella here is a 12 volt countdown timer circuit. You can get these off of eBay for about two or three pounds a piece. As I said in the previous video, I buy these things literally ten at a time. They're so useful for various different things. And that is just an absolutely bog standard automotive switching relay, like you'd have on your headlight, on your, well, your headlights, like your spotlights or cooling fans or literally anything like that that you're going to turn off that throws big current. Although that's not what we're going to be using it for in this instance. So, 12 volt timer circuit, super easy, positive and negative just there. This is a, again, it's a, it's a surface mounted relay, but it's just a relay. So the pins here, we have the common, which goes in the middle, and they're normally closed. And normally open. So in this uh, instance we're going to be using the normally open uh, side of the relay. So what else is there? This, These two terminals here they're called the key. Uh, what you do when you want to trigger the circuit you join these two terminals together. You must never put a feed or an earth on either of these pins because if you do you blow the board up. I said that in the last video because I've done it. Um, we have a little pot just here which when you turn it will adjust the time. The time will be displayed over here when you're adjusting it. And then we have this little, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bus bar just there. And what that is, it's got a common pin in the centre, and you can move it from the centre to the left, which gives you seconds, or you move it centre to right, and it gives you minutes. In the previous video I used it on minutes, this time I'm going to use it on seconds. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to very quickly just rig this up so you can see how it works on the bench, and then what I'm going to do is install it in the van. Uh, so, right, give me a couple of seconds, we'll get this all jigged up. Now, I'm just setting up this demonstration to show how this, this, this system will work in your car. And the one thing I didn't show in the previous video was how to set the time on one of these boards. Now, I just didn't do it because I, th I explained it, but I thought, you know what, we're here, so I may as well do it. Um, first things first, in order to set the time on one of these, uh, it has to be powered up. So, positive and negative on these power pins. These boards, as I said before, all of the pins, every single one of them, is actually labelled. I'm not just going to bring the camera in super close because it uh, it gets the AV syndrome and won't focus. But if you get one, they're all labelled. So we've got the little jumper bar, centre bar to seconds. Doesn't make any difference, it could be on minutes. That's uh, pretty much irrelevant, but for what we're doing, I want it in seconds. So I'm going to power the board up with this little power supply. Forget all of this, this is irrelevant, this is for the demonstration later. The only thing you need to set the time is these two in here. As you can see it already says 10 because I've set it but I will show you. Uh, just powered up, key missing, you put a screwdriver in here and you can literally turn it all the way up if you've got a Ford you can have it on 99 seconds or even 99 minutes and all the way back down it'll go to 1. So 1 second is going to be very useful, you might want 1 minute for something. So I'm going to turn this, oh look at that good shot, 10. So that board is now set to count down 10 seconds. So if I get this little jumper that I've made here, and I now just jump these terminals out, you have to hold the key in, the board will count down, the relay's pulled in, and then 
click back to 10 seconds and the relays pop back out again. So that has just effectively put my glow plugs on for 10 seconds. And I've just done it again while I've taken the, taken the key off. So, next step I'm going to show you how to make that work completely automatically. So you're, you're now in the stage where you've got the board, you've set the time, you're ready to install it into the vehicle. So that's the next part, but I've got to do a little bit more mucking around yet. Okay, so what we've got here is my little demonstration all set up. So, if I made an assumption at the beginning of the video that everybody would know what a 30 amp switching relay is. So, if you're unsure what one is, nip back onto the channel and I did a full video on how these things work and what they are. So, I'll show you how I've wired it. Uh, if it doesn't make sense, nip back onto the channel because it takes me oh, 5 or 10 minutes to explain what these work. Uh, what these are and how they work, so go and watch that other video. So, we're going across the switching terminals with no switch whatsoever. So, as soon as you put power onto this relay, click, it comes straight on. So, as soon as you turn on your ignition, bang, that relay makes a contact. So, we're coming down here into the relay on our positive and into the board. Now, you'll see next to it, this another wire comes out and it goes straight round to our common. Now, the purpose of that is it's just to demonstrate that all you need here on one, two, three different contacts is an ignition feed. Okay. Now it's not actually forced to come from the same place. So if you're moving these components all around your vehicle, so you're going to put the relay under the bonnet so it's close to the like, glow plugs, um, or anything you like. You know, if you've just got space, it doesn't all have to be on the same wire. But they are all an ignition switched feed. Now this black wire next to it is just a ground. That's a uh, ground back to your battery or a chassis ground. So it goes from the negative on our circuit board, uh, negative on our relay, and it all goes back to our simulated battery. Okay. Um, so this relay and this relay are effectively the same thing. Uh, at the minute, this one is closed. So it means from common, it's now switched to this terminal. We're not using that terminal, it doesn't matter. As soon as we power this circuit up and it begins to count, it will switch, click that way, because that's what it does. Uh, and it goes onto this terminal. Why would it do that? It's quite simple. If you watch the uh, video where I did the cooling fan timer, uh, we're timing something on in our instance. In the other video, I was timing something off, so I wanted to wait a certain amount of time and then something to happen. Whereas this time, we want to turn our power on and immediately have something happen, so that it's going to go straight through onto this terminal, and then after 10 seconds, it's going to click off. So the common is coming round, uh, click. Circuit energizers, and we've got a feeder here. Now this one is going to be what goes to your glow plug relay. Okay, so this will go to the switch switching side of your glow plug relay. Now to simulate that, so you can see it work, I've just put a little voltmeter on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it on, and if I've done everything correctly, it should all work. So three, two, one, click. So we're counting down our 10 seconds. We've got power going out to our glow plug relay, and in 3, 2, 1, it'll click. That's just turned off your glow plugs. The circuit's still awake, that doesn't matter, you can stay awake as long as it likes. It isn't actually doing anything. So, that's timed its 10 seconds out. You heat, you, you know, your, your heating cycle's finished, you can start your engine. Now, if you wanted to do it again, so you want, it's a really cold day, you want to give it two shots, there you go. Turn your ignition on and off, simple as that. And that's why I like the idea of using a relay for doing this. Because it all works off the ignition key, just like a, a, an original diesel car would. Now, if you didn't want to do that, if you think the relay is far too complicated and a waste of time, you can, quite literally, use this exact same circuit, and you can put a switch on it. So, this is now simulating my original button on my dashboard. I've removed the relay completely, it's doing absolutely nothing, and click, it will work. So if you wanted a button on your dashboard, you could do just that, so you think, ah, 10 seconds isn't going to be enough, so uh, as soon as it's finished, uh, do it again. Just like that. But I like the idea of using the relay. So if you were just wondering how to make a 12 volt timer circuit for your heat plug relay, that's it. Package this somehow, I'm going to put this in a little pr uh, plastic project box, and install it. So if you don't want to see how this goes into a Volkswagen van, you've watched the video, now you know how to do it, order your part. If you'd like to see how to make it go into a Volkswagen van, by all means stick around. So the next video will be me in the van,
getting this hung up underneath the dash and I'll show you how to identify the wires that you need to find uh, to make all this work. Okay, let's get out there and do it.